What's going on AT? It's Jerry Smith here and I'm excited to do a not card pull video like I normally do on the weekends, but this is going to be a box pull. I'm going to save all the juicy card pulls and I'm actually going to go ahead and push that till next week so we get double the fun. But seeing as we still get some entertainment, I'm going after Gambler Cotton, which is going to be in the new PC box, which we'll get to in a second. I uh, thought long and hard about this. Also had a great conversation with Gasman uh, about just the new combos that are coming up. Uh, I'll do a cut right after this and show you all those with a little bit more detail. But for this section, just wanted to show you that this is obviously to support my PK deck, most of all, because a few heal all combos that also have cripple all and also have cheer all just make for a really nice Swiss Army knife. And it only takes a few of those in play to go ahead and keep me afloat when I'm dealing with a lot of gas, punch, whatever it might be. Uh, it can really be a good bolstering. And just to show you two VIP crews, I'm only missing, uh, well, I'm I have two fully quieted, and then I have one that's unfused. So that is going to be the secondary PC within this box, and maybe we go ahead and make some combos there. But with the seven pulls, that's my max that I want to do, uh, and that's in tier eight, I would get guaranteed, say if I just have the worst luck in the world, that's still two and a half of Gambler Cotton PCs, and I really hope I don't have that bad of luck, but just wanted to go ahead and do the consideration. If it is that bad, I might consider more, but this is where I want to put my foot down right now. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get pulling. First round, 200. Gambler Cotton, this is the Epics. We're going to close that out. And actually, before I get too far into this, I touch base in another video, but I actually do want to talk about this. So the reason I really like this card is because it's a heal all that will complement uh, my cripple all motivate wall deck and give it some longevity with the heal all but not only does it do a heal all it will do a cheer all and after the cheer all it can go and technically get hijacked and that's always a big issue with cheer all which is why a lot of people like to stay away from it but after the cheer all then the cripple all is played and that order of operation makes this thing great because even if that cheer all is hijacked I can go and wipe away most of that so by and large, this is something I still think is going to be strategic for my deck and why I'm so interested in it. Now that I've given you a little bit more depth, let's get back to the good stuff and let's fucking keep pulling. I've got no legs so far. Just got the two epic versions of the PC, which I don't want. There he is again. Oh, and we got our first one. Let's go. Okay, way ahead of schedule. Let's go ahead and just get that logged. Uh, so we are one in. All right, we're going up to tier three. Oh, we got our first CM on it too. That's fucking great. Let's go. All right, and we get sticker price and another Gambler Cotton. Oh man, I am loving this shit. Okay, we're coming at it fast. So let me go ahead and just sum this. Uh, we're on the next poll right now. CEO Fry, uh, I forgot Luis's Okay, VIP Cruise. So that's going to be a Fused as well. A secondary PC, which I think is actually still playable uh, on BEG and off BEG, depending on who I'm going up against. But I actually think that's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to pause real quick and just reformat my sheet, and then I'll be right back. It's going to feel like no time for you. I'm back. Did you miss me? I bet you did. All right, well, let's go ahead and move into uh, tier... What is this? Does it literally say right there? It's tier 5. Does it say tier 5 out here? It says tier 5 right down there. I'm blind. Come on, Jerry. Use your eyes. Big money. Big money. No whammies. I really... Oh, there's another one. Oh, that one was guaranteed, though. That was the first one we actually had this guaranteed. So that was fine. Sticker price, one of the new ones, which actually works really well with Joe because his new freaking combo is amazing. I'm a little bummed to see him as an in here. This is the full CM pool, just so you can see it. Let's see what that is. Uh, this is Fake Daughter Louise, uh, which is a pretty good combo. The only one I don't want is going to be this one, and now that I've said it, Rich Haley is probably going to get it. It's trash. It's hot garbage. Um, but this, I'd really like to go CM3. Minimum, I would love CM3. All right, backing up. Tier 6, let's go. Of course, of course, oh my god, what did I do to myself? Oh, we got a fused. That's the only thing that can make up for that ass pull. Oh my god. 
That was trash. That was fucking garbage. My God. At least we got some awesome gambler cons. I'm super excited about that. I knew as soon as I said it, I was jinxing myself. All right. This is tier seven. I think I said tier seven last time. I was wrong. VIP. Okay, nice. And of course, more Haley. The one we expect. All right. Linda and Linda. So that's a quad, and we got a, a Linda character. I absolutely love characters. I'm totally down to get more cotton, too. That would be pretty cool, because uh, I don't have a lot of his character overall, but now we are into the actual pulls. We have one and three quarters cotton so far. So we still got a, a few more to go. This is where we're getting the big money pulls, though. So tier eight, let's see what we get. And these are always nerve wracking, because they can be trash. Haley, stop. Oh, thank God. All right, so we're CM2, Gambler Cotton, and VIP Cruise. All right, so not the worst on there, but also not what we were hoping for. Uh, let's go ahead and just give ourselves one more on that. So this is officially two Cotton, and then I think this is going to be four VIP Cruise that we have uh, as well. So it's more CM here, and please stop, Haley. I, as soon as I said your name, you just won't stop showing up. I'm not about you. Meg's combo is pretty good, too. It's hard on this one. Good hijack combo can definitely stop her, but it's heal. Nice, Cotton. CO Fry, let's go. The one we expect. All right, Rich Griffin House. So a lot of the new cards. So I can definitely go ahead and slay with like some of the new combos that they have out there. And that makes me feel good, but of course, this is not why we're here. So let's hope that there is going to be something more coming in the future because we're sitting at two and a quarter on our Cottons and... I'd really just like to get some full quadded ones if it was just in the cards. Kong, please don't let me down. Mm, happy for Cotton. Bad for Haley. Cotton, yes, let's go. All right, we got freaking 1.25 on that one. I love it. All right. Uh, let's buy more. Let's just get into it. Big daughter. Haley, go away. CEO Fry, let's go. Cotton? Linda? Sticker price. Okay, we're getting a lot of those. All right, so we're just getting another 0.25 there. We're currently sitting at three and a quarter. Uh, so that's talking in quads overall. We have three and then one fused, one unfused. If we bring everything together. Let's go one more. We're got three pulls left if I'm hitting my cap. Big daughter, yes. Let's go. Cotton. Okay, character, item card. Not not what I'm hoping for. We're not getting these that I'm, I'm looking for, but we have four solid ones. Technically, in the beginning, I think I said I wanted five. I said I wanted six just for a little extra. I was really hoping that I got lucky and didn't have to keep going these last two tiers because they were the iffy ones, but... I really, I really want at least five. So I, I have to, I have to just hope that we get something in the next pull, and maybe I, I hold back. But let's keep going. I love spending my gems too. I wait so long. I'm so patient. Hopefully it pays off. Go away, Haley. <laughs> VIP Cotton. VIP Linda. God. Okay. All right. Um, this is gonna be the last one. We might just end at four and a half. Uh. Which is, it's not ideal. All right, let's buy more. I'm nervous, come on. What up? Hello, I guess. All right, good CM. Follow through, come on. <sighs> Didn't get it. Didn't get it. Okay, so that means that we are four and a half right now. Now, I know when we first set off, I said I was trying for five or six. I think on this one, because there is some pretty cool cards that are coming up for Fighter, I want to have a little bit of gems in the bank to go ahead and attack those if they come up in the right box. So I'm going to stop here for now, but let's go ahead, jump into the CM review, show you the card counts, and at the end I'm actually going to do another box pull for some reason because I just really couldn't, couldn't do without Joe. So hold on for that and uh, let's get into it. Okay. So let's start from the top as far as who got the most. And as you may have guessed from watching, Rich Haley is definitely number one, and they're going to be all the way at CM4 now, my favorite. 
Uh, beyond that, we have back to Gambler Cotton, who is coming up at second, and I was very happy to see, and that is CM4 as well. Uh, so we're just at the, the money there. Next, we have Fake Daughter uh, Luis, and that is going to be CM3, followed by uh, CEO Fry, who is now CM3. And then I have VIP Cruise, tied for 50 uh, that it was given, but that one actually was an upgrade to CM4 because I've already had some, uh, some research on that. And then Prince Vassal, I've already have uh, one CM on it, so they are going all the way up to CM3 as well. So that's where we are as far as the stones. Now let's go ahead and move into how we did on cards. Okay, for cards, I'm going to talk about these in quads. So we're going to talk about uh, the ones we got the most to the least, just like last time. And number one is going to be sticker price. Uh, this we got 5.75 from our card pulls today, and that's a total of six that I'll actually have in play, and I'm able to quad. Uh, next up we have Gambler Cotton, which actually was nice to see on the higher side. So it is 4.5 that we have in there. Of course, I would love to have more, but you know we got what we got, and I'm not upset about it. So after that, we actually have VIP Cruise taken up 2.75, and now we have a total of five in play uh, from this poll. So I'm super excited about that, that the second and third are both PCs, so it's not like it was the worst thing in the world. After that, we have Linda coming in at 2.5. Then we have uh, a tie between Rich Griffin at two, and we also have Cotton at two characters that we drew. So... Not terrible overall, pretty diverse, but of course you always hope that there's more PCs than not. Well, now I guess let's move on to the Joe box. I'm not going to have a recap at the end because I didn't go as deep, but let's check it out. All right, well, I realized with all these new cards, I really wanted some CM on Joe. So we're going to go ahead and try our shot here. I think the most I want to do is probably just CM5, and that's going to give us, what, two, four, five, five CM shots on it. So... Let's go ahead and just push our luck and see how we do. First one, well, technically second one. That was in a previous video because I did 200 already on it. But let's go ahead and now check it out. CM is on the way. First one really doesn't matter because there's no CM on it, so it's maybe just a leg. Oh, <laughs> of course we get $1 Joe. Let's go. $1 Joe all the way. All right. First CM. All right, Paddle and Peggy. This is not what we were hoping for. Uh, it's not the worst combo in the world. And no likes, too. Oh, no. <laughs> there it is. Rich Griffin House. Uh, so I think that uh, gives me a, a fused, which is nice. Pam. Glad, or freaking Gale. Absinthe. Oh, that's an oldie but a goodie. I'll, I'll take it. Okay, well, let's just check. So yeah, we only have the two more left, and it looks like we're going to get a guaranteed Joe too, so we'll have a, a fused. Let's see what the CM is here. I know there were so many options. I hope it's not that crowded. Uh, okay, it's not as bad as I thought, so this is doable. Let's, let's hope for some Joe in this thing. Joe, 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 not Joe, Joe, damn it. Okay. Well, he's not there, but we got that, and it looks like we got a, a fighter card, so that's not bad. Um, yeah, I gotta stop here. It's I, I can't keep spending gems like that, so we're gonna go ahead and cut, and I'll bring you to the next section. All right, team. I thank you very much for watching. If you've made it this far in the video, like always, I just ask you consider liking and or subscribing. It takes a lot of work to go ahead and make the edits and everything that I've been doing to try to elevate the content I've been producing. And if you appreciate that, I would appreciate just that little slight return. It makes that validation in the work that I put in. Um, also, best of luck on your polls, too. I know that not everyone's going after this box, but even on your regular polls, if you're moving stones, I want to send those good vibes your way. I don't think I got the golden ticket today, but I hope that you do tomorrow. So y'all take care. Have yourself a good one. Thank you for joining me on this ride, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See ya.